Well, good morning, everyone. Been a busy week. Got another load. I'll have that, uh, the, well, I don't have the load showing where I was at, but I do have the view of where I was at. For the Tacoma area, this is the northern um, part of Commencement Bay, Port of Tacoma. Looking backwards towards Tacoma, the Tacoma Dome, and on the other side of the Tacoma Dome is Interstate 5. So, couldn't get a whole lot, but that's okay. Figured it was a nice shot. And uh, I'll get set up and we'll show... I'll show you what I'm doing today. Port of Tacoma. That's the Tacoma Dome. Today I figured I would show you guys. I think most of you know already. But how I use multiple wedges. And stuff like that to get this stuff broken down for those of you that don't know yeah I had to buy another one this year because I keep beating mine all to death but to make things easier find a crack obviously it doesn't go all the way out but that's fine we'll put one wedge right about here I'll even take my short fiskers put it here and at least get it broken in half and then you have another crack right here and it looks like another one is right here going outward so this round doesn't look too bad not a looks like I got one knot here so that's probably why there's no crack right there the bottom one there I've got looks like an old knot here another one right there and it's just what I can see. Who knows? There might be ones inside of it. So, I'll get you set up and we'll get pounding. And it's a good spot for now. Let's measure this up and see what we're at. From bark to bark, 39 inches that way. Bark to bark this way, 43. Yeah, 43. By 15. Let's see, 14 there. This side, 14. So, for around this large, I am not moving it in one chunk. So, let's uh, put on the safety glasses and bust it down. Sorry for all the wind noise, guys. But, uh, yeah, I think we got a front moving in the northwest. So, oh well. So, we'll start with the, uh, the old, the old Fiskers as a splitting wedge with a, with a handle. Bust it down.
with one chunk down now I can pick it up and put it on the splitter without hurting myself Well, wasn't expecting that. I guess I should have. But I don't have that one uh, busted in half yet. Part of it is, if you look, we have another knot. So, since I want my wedge back. Now let's take this round here and make it hit the ground so someone doesn't get hurt. Right, you guys would want to see this before I make it hit the ground. I see at least two knots in that. One here. One here for sure. But look where they're at in the center of the tree. You got your center right here. So, for Doug Fur, Grand Fur, 
and hemlock can be the same way but look at just it's hidden you can't see it and if you go out here to the outside of the bark there's nothing there It'd be right about because you know, there's your knot look at that it'd be right about here I guess you could say that's it right there Let's bust these two up and I think we'll call it a wrap for today. So that's all I've been doing after work, just a couple couple a day. Come out here, bust up two or three, split it all down, bust up maybe one more. And then about two, maybe three hours later, I'm done. Okay, let's do this one. I'll show you where I see the crack. Remember, this is the one that's got knots all over in it. You got your center of the tree right here. You have a crack going this way. I don't know how well you can see that. But there's one crack here, another one here. I don't see any more anywhere else. So. Put a mark in it for the wedge and start pounding. Now, I do see a knot here. I see another one here, an old one. And I think 
I see another one right here. So, oh well, we'll do what we can. Anyway, I figured I'd show you guys what I was doing this week. Um, for those of you who are not used to wedges and malls, this this red one here, it's a monster mall that I bought, oh, about five or six years ago. That's what I originally started out with. About a half hour later, I was shot, but I was good for the night. Now I just use it as a, as a sledgehammer and the occasional monster ball when I need to uh, when I put the before I put the wedge in I do use the monster mall or my one of my Fiskers to make a mark so it's got a the wedge has got a groove to go into instead of you tapping your wedge in and creating one uh, that just seems to be what works out best for me so but uh, yeah you made it this far appreciate you watching liking and subscribing if you enjoy this kind of stuff and until next wednesday travel safely and uh, hope you all have a good week thanks Bye.